Hey, you don't need it! Those eggs you found are poisonous! Huh? Poisonous? Yeah, I tested it with a silver needle. Why did it turn black? Hey, come on. It's alright. It's okay. But the silver needle turned black. That's how ancient people did the toxicity <laughs> test. Well, if you're not sure, we can verify if silver needles can detect poison. Alright, I'll give you five seconds. Think about this. Which of these things can turn the silver needle black? A. The newly bought boiled egg. B. Sulfur soap solution. C. Fresh lurid bully. It's so toxic, the silver will turn black. Are you sure? Let's test it out. Let's insert the silver needle into each of these three items and wait 10 minutes. First, let's check the egg. Oh no, the egg out of my can't be bad. The heck? It's poisonous? I'll talk to the silver. Don't rush. Let's check this one, the sulfur self solution. Oh no, I use this soap every day. If it was poisonous, I would have... What? How can the soap be poisonous? Hey, calm down. Actually, neither of them are poisonous. The silver needle turned black because the sulfur in the egg and the sulfur soap reacted with the silver to form black sulfur sulfide. In reality, a silver needle can't detect poison at all. We can wait a bit longer and see if the silver needle changes color in the toxic mushroom. This is nonsense! All those period dramas with silver needle poison tests, how can they all be fake? Not exactly. In ancient times, silver needle was used to detect arsenic or trioxide of arsenic, which doesn't react with silver. But because ancient technology was limited, there were sulfur residues when arsenic was extracted, Ooh. which happened to turn the needle black. However, if the poison doesn't contain much sulfur... So silver needle poison testing was just an unscientific coincidence. Hey, but what about blood drops to recognize families? Well, 